today we're going to use an in-track loop, chop it up and make this, starting with this. Hi guys, Matt Fertel here from Entrack. In this video, we wanted to show how easy it is to chop up a loop on the Entrack Studio app to make your track sound more original. To do this, we're going to use the Sunset Electric Guitar Pack by Tiba and Nasty Tracks, which is available in Entrack Studio Suite Edition. In this video, we'll be using Entrack Studio for iOS on iPhone, but you could do the same on versions of Entrack for Android, Windows, and Mac. We'll find the loop from the Sunset Electric Guitar Pack. First, Open the loop browser by clicking on the use loops icon from the launch screen. We can also access this via the loop browser icon here. Inside the loop browser, we'll select add-ons where we can see all of the available sound packs. We want to search for Sunset Electric Guitar. We've been through this in other videos, so we won't spend too long on it here. But if you haven't already downloaded Sunset Electric Guitar, it's easy to do. Click on the pack name, which will be in gray, and we can see that the add-on manager automatically appears, which gives us the option to download the pack. Once we click get, the pack downloads and is ready to use. Let's hear some of the Sunset Electric Guitar loops. We'll use loop 23 to chop up and customize. You'll hear that at the moment it sounds very slow, reflective, and you can hear the hand movements of the guitarist, which will come in useful when transforming this loop into something else. Note that the BPM is 80, we're going to set up an end track project at 182 BPM to make our first big change to the loop, speeding it up. End track will automatically tempo sync the loop to our project speed of 182 BPM. So let's import the loop. We can toggle tempo sync on and off by selecting the drop down menu on the loop and selecting follow song BPM. We can see that this switches the loop between its original tempo and tempo sync to our project. Let's hear the difference. With the loop tempo sync to our project, let's start to transform it. Firstly, we'll change the pitch of the loop by using the audio drop down menu to change the pitch from B down to A. Let's hear that difference. So we can hear that immediately changes the loop. The second thing to notice is that this loop has a lazy feel and is behind the beat. This can work for certain styles, but isn't what we want in this example. If we play the loop with the metronome enabled, we can hear this lazy feeling. The loop is an eighth note behind the beat. We can also look at the waveform to see this. Look at how the higher amplitudes on the waveform don't sit on the one, two, three, or four beats. So we'll chop the first eighth note out of the waveform and move it to the end of the loop instead. So let's click and long press, slice the loop. We'll long press again and we'll select cut selection. We'll then select and drag the loop to bar one, beat one, where we just cut out the short part of our loop. We'll move the playhead to the position that we want to paste the loop, long press, and press paste. Also when doing this, make sure that the eight is enabled in the grid so the audio parts will line up in eighths. Something to watch out for is when the grid value is selected incorrectly, which will result in the part not lining up as we want. Let's look at an example of this. You can see that the audio part will not attach directly to the end of the loop because it's an eighth note and not on the beat, which is the value selected. Selecting a value is useful to move a part to an exact position on the grid, but if you want to move the part freely, just deselect, enable snap to grid. 
Let's return to our project and hear that by moving the audio part, our loop now lines up with the metronome. Next, we're going to chop out bar five until the end of the original loop because the second half lacks the rhythmic drive of the first half of the guitar part. To do this, we'll use the slice tool at bar five, select and delete the audio part from beat one of bar five, and then use the repeat loop icon on the bottom right of the first part of our loop to repeat it up until our custom ending. Let's hear how this is sounding. On our repeat of the shortened version of the loop, we can hear a click. Let's hear that again. We'll add a fade by simply clicking and dragging in the top corner of the parts, like so. Let's hear the difference. I hope you can hear the difference, it sounds much better. Let's take customizing this loop up a level by utilizing N-Track's slice and repeat loop functions. Instead of just repeating the first four bars of the loop, we'll add a transition into the first beat of bar five by slicing the eighth note before bar five, cutting out the four eighth notes before it using the N-Track part adjuster, dragging the sliced eighth beat back, making it a beat long, and repeating it using the repeat loop function. Let's quickly rewind to when we moved our chopped eighth part. Be aware you might have to ungroup the part from the overall loop like this in order to move it like we did. That said, let's hear how this example sounds. As you can imagine, you guys could create all sorts of fills using these functions. We'll add a final bit of spice to this transition by pitch shifting the repeated lead in. We want the beat one of bar five to remain in A as that's our key. So let's pitch shift the repeat before this up one semitone to B flat and the repeat before that up another semitone to B. The effect is that the music sounds like it's coming down to the main key and creates some musical tension. Let's hear that again. We'll add one more of these transitions into the first beat of bar six. At the moment, the loop doesn't do anything particularly strong on beat one of bar six, but there's this strong accent on beat four of bar five. It could work better to repeat this strong accent so it lands on bar six as well. We'll slice beat one of bar six like so, and then drag out beat one of bar six. We'll then slice beat four of bar five, select it, and repeat this portion of the loop into beat one of bar six. It now sounds like this. As the final touch to this transition, we'll add a pitch shift on bar five beat four to D four and create some fades to remove any clicks. Let's hear how that sounds now. Before we move on to our final tip for chopping up loops, Sunset Electric Guitar is a premium sound bank and it's included when you subscribe to N-Track Studios Suite Edition on mobile or buy Suite Edition for Windows or Mac. The Suite Edition includes every sound pack available in N-Track, as well as the most feature-packed version of the app, which includes 64-bit mixing and processing, exporting 32 and 64-bit uncompressed WAVs, support for control surfaces, and surround mixing. You also get access to all of our royalty-free samples and exclusive release-ready beats. More detail in the description below this video. To give this chop loop even more of a rhythmic feel, there's a great fret slide on the guitar on beat four of bar two. We're going to slice that little part and copy it on beat three of each bar on a new track. So we'll long press and copy the part. We'll then select the new track icon in the navigation bar and select add audio track. And audio track has now been added. So we'll go to beat three of bar one. We'll long press in that position on the new audio track and select paste. We'll move the playhead now to beat three of bar two, long press and paste again and we'll continue this process for the eight bar duration of the loop. Now that's done, let's hear the result. Hear how that sounds? We'll bring the volume of this new track down to blend the parts together, and I'm happy with how that sounds. Definitely look out for sounds that can be chopped and used as FX to give loops more flavor. To recap, our original loop sounded like this, And 
here's our new loop. You could also add a beat to this loop and a top line using the Sunset Electric Guitar playable instruments. Here's one we've put together so you can hear how this loop sounds with a couple more parts. Let us know in the comments how you get on and other sample packs you'd like to see in Entrap Studio. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until the next time, have fun making music with Entrap. Cheers.